Hey guys and welcome to a quick guide on selling i3 gaps on any Ubuntu flavor that's 16.04 and later. As you can see I'm an X Ubuntu 17.04 with the only thing done so far is a quick update and upgrade. First off we're going to install a bunch of dependencies through a quick apt get install command and let it run through. Mine will be sped up for your viewing pleasure. Once that's done, we're going to clone Airbladder's XCB util modules from GitHub through the git clone command. CD into the folder we've downloaded and run the autogen.sh script. Now we're going to run our make and sudo make install commands. Once that's done, we're going to cd back out of the folders and we're going to run our sudo bash command. And then the cat command to create a file with the following line in it. Once you have that done, hit ctrl D to exit the cat command and exit to leave the root shell. Now we're going to run our LD config commands before moving on to cleaning Airbladder's i3 gaps from GitHub. Once we have that done, we're going to cd into our i3 gaps folder and run a few more commands. We're going to cd into our build folder now and run another quick command before running on make and sudo make install commands as usual. Once we have that done, we're going to run our which i3 command to verify our install worked. One more command just to verify again, and there we go. Now you're going to log out. And on your login screen, you can select exactly which DE slash WM you want to boot into. Usually it's going to be i3, of course. Once you boot in, hit mod enter, usually that'll be whatever you set it up as. I prefer to install dmenu at this point so I have a quick launcher, but there are plenty of alternatives like Rolfi. We're going to launch our file manager, in my case it's Dunar, but there are obviously different ones. Now you can head to your i3 config folder. This will usually be in uh, your home folder in the .config slash i3. Next you're going to add the following lines that you will see on i3 Gaps' GitHub page. Usually it'll just be a four window class border pixel zero line. Obviously you can have a different number than zero, they're provided it is still a pixel style border. And then you can actually input your gaps. Then hit mod key and R to reset i3 and allow the changes to happen. And that's about it, now you can work on customizing it to meet your needs and designs.